you've been eating meatballs wrong. You actually need a spoon because you're about to make the best ever easy Italian style meatball soup. Hug in a bowl. Come with me. A pound and a half ground beef, lamb, turkey, chicken, not all together, but any of these will work. A little bit of garlic, two to three garlic cloves, and minced. We're gonna leave some garlic for that beautiful soup later. One egg, thank you. Freshly grated Parmesan, because you are making not just any meatball, the meatball of all meatballs. I mean, this is the meatball where if you serve it to Oprah, she'll be like, you get a meatball, you get a meatball. That's the sort of meatball you're making. I'm telling you, breadcrumbs, the cup. We're gonna go in with some seasoning, about a couple teaspoons of oregano, a pinch of sweet paprika, some parsley, fresh chopped parsley, about a half a cup or so. We're gonna leave some for the soup later on. Going in with a big pinch of kosher salt and a big pinch of black pepper. It's a flavor party. Drizzle of some good extra version olive oil. To bring this whole party together, we are going to put a pair of gloves on. You're gonna be one with the meat. Get in there, because this is the only way to make a good meatball is to make sure that everything is well incorporated. That's why you put your glove on and you resolve to be one with your meat. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Now take the brush and brush it. In your lightly oiled sheet pan, make the meatballs, place them in here. So the story with this meatball soup is every time I make it and every time I post it online, I get a marriage proposal. I don't know why. Now that I've decided I will make a video of it, I would like to make a public service announcement that it is the best uh, meatball soup out there. Make it and propose to someone else uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm taken at this point in time. <laughs> so. I mean, I've never met a meatball that I didn't love, to be honest, but this is just a step up. Because let's be honest, why choose between meatball and a cozy soup when you can have them both, huh? Always thinking. So we're just gonna go ahead and arrange the meatballs. Get your broiler ready, and you're gonna broil them for five to seven minutes or so. They're not gonna fully cook. You're gonna finish cooking in the soup. Oh, seeing some good color. Turn the broiler off first. That was fast. Like I said, five to seven-ish minutes or so, so don't go far. The goal here was not to cook the meatballs. They are just lightly browned at this point in time. They're gonna finish cooking inside the soup and will impart a lot of flavor to it. So now let's work on the soup. Nice large pot, medium high heat. Extra virgin olive oil, the start of everything delicious. Oh yes. Today I'm using our Arbakina extra virgin olive oil from the mediterraneandish.com. It is a great everyday olive oil to cook with even if you use it for your salads or anything else. So you're gonna go in with the chopped onion, just using yellow onion here. And we're gonna go ahead and add the celery, carrots, and bell pepper, and some garlic, minced garlic. Oh yes. Toss this party together. We're gonna get nice sweat going here, so a pinch of salt's always helpful. Sweating my party of veggies out a little bit, softening them. This usually takes about five minutes or so. You know how people keep telling you, you've got to make this, it will change your life. Yada, yada, yada. People yada, yada a lot. And not all yada, yadas are acceptable. If I ever tell you this soup is going to change your life, I do mean it, my friend, because it will change your life. You will enjoy it. So if this soup gives you this much more happiness, I would have done my job. Tossing around until things have softened just a tad, they'll finish cooking in that broth, you know, right? When you build the soup up, so don't worry about that. Let's go in with the broth. I'm using beef broth here. A large can of whole tomatoes. With their juices, goes right in here. Oh yeah, 
I like to control the saltiness myself, so I use low sodium and then I add from there. Pinch of pepper and the same seasonings that kind of went in the meatballs. So we have oregano, a little bit, and a little bit of sweet paprika. Super easy, so far so good, right? You can do this, because you are a chefy chef, baby. We're gonna bring this party to a boil, then we're gonna go in with a little bit of pasta. I'm using small pasta here. You don't want anything too big. You can use orzo. You can use another small pasta of your choice. Three quarter cup, you can ignore the pasta altogether if you just want the meat, the veggies, and the broth. But this just adds a little more dimension and a little heft and some carbs. You wanna get to this bubbling situation. Turn it down just a tad. It's ready for you to add your broiled meatballs. So here we go. Moving all my meatballs in here. Max believes he's gonna get a meatball. Max is hoping. Max is like, oh, fall. wait, she's not doing this very well. Something is gonna fall. Some, I'm, I'm gonna catch it. I'm right here to catch it. We only broiled the meatballs for about seven-ish minutes or so. So they're gonna finish cooking in this broth. And then we're gonna add our little pasta right here. Oh, yes. We're gonna get this party simmering. Your meatballs and your pasta will probably cook in about 10, 15 minutes or so, and that's all you need. Everything will be ready then when the pasta is tender and it thickens. So we're gonna just let it do its thing for a little while. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. So much flavor and texture. This is how you do a flavor party Mediterranean style. I told you that you need a spoon to eat this meatball situation. I wasn't lying. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Beautiful tomatoey broth. It smells so good. I'm gonna do a little bit of parsley, some Parmesan, and if you like heat, a little bit of red pepper flakes. Oh, this meatball party is happening and it will feed a crowd. I just wanna make sure that I show you how it's eaten <laughs> in case you need to. Mm. I gotta grab some of the little pasta too. Mm. Mm. This is a hug in a bowl. If you're into meatballs, make sure you check out the next video for another meatball party you do not want to miss. For this easy Italian meatball soup, head over to themediterraneandish.com. Ciao.